for the bottom line to Chief Washington Cor Correspondent host of this week, George Stephanopoulos. Hey, George. Hey, Bill. How's it going today? It's going well, thanks. Uh, well, if you listen closely there, there was actually a few different messages. There are those, there's the Ron Paul sort of deficit hawks in that crowd there as well. You had uh, some birthers, some anti-abortion activists, and a lot of people actually voiced their concern with Republican big government as well, the spending that went back to the last administration. So can, can the GOP harness this energy in a way that's constructive to their ends? Well, they, I, I think it's possible. Listen, you can't sneeze at tens of thousands of people coming out on a Saturday afternoon to march on the Capitol. That is significant. Even if it represents a minority, it can show a strongly motivated uh, minority. And I think what the Republican um, plan right now is, to be, is going to be to try to block uh, President Obama's health care plans any way they can, and I think they can coalesce, coalesce around this message of big government, which is why President Obama tried so hard on Wednesday night to stress. In fact, the only veto threat he put out was that this bill would not increase the deficit, not one dime. If it does, I'll veto it. The president will have to continue to stress that message because I think that's the strongest ground of the opponents. Uh,